Class 5, Environmental Studies, Part 1, Lesson Number 19, Constituents of the Food, Part 3. So, student, as you all know that we have learned about macronutrients and micronutrients. Okay, in short, I am going to tell you all about this uh, micronutrients of uh, sources of vitamins and minerals. So, students, these sources of vitamins and minerals are all kinds of fruits, vegetables, sprouted pulses, skin of bran, of cereals, etc. So, these are the sources of what? Of vitamins as well as minerals. Now, next, let's see what is the balanced diet. Now, students, this balanced diet contains carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals in the proper proportion as we have learned about macronutrients and micronutrients okay so in micronutrients what we have seen we have seen about minerals and vitamins as well as in macronutrients we have seen about carbohydrates proteins and fats so these all are in the proper proportion and the one that gives nutrition in the right quantity is called a balanced diet okay so this all carbohydrates proteins fats minerals okay so these all are in the good proportion and this gives nutrition in the right quantities so this all comes into the balance diet now this balanced diet keeps us healthy fit and fine so this balanced diet is very useful and necessary for our health now next nourishment and malnutrition now if all food constituents are consumed in the right proportion, then the body gets nourishment, right? So, that proportion is known as the nourishment. Now, if any constituent is lacking in the diet, then the person suffers from the malnutrition. As we have seen that all these uh, macronutrients and micronutrients, okay, they are essential. If something is lacking in a balanced diet, then the person suffers from the malnutrition. Therefore, we should have healthy and balanced diet. Now, students, this malnutrition has serious consequences on the health of a person. Okay, person becomes thin and the stomach comes out. For what? For malnutrition. If carbohydrates and proteins are not enough in the diet, then the person has stunted growth and he, she feel continue, continuously tired as i told for malnutrition a person becomes thin and day by day the person becomes tired continuously he doesn't feel relaxed and fresh if someone eats one of the following kind of food stuff then he she likes then a person does not get proper nutrition as i have told you all about the nourishment same consequences are related to the mal nutrition so this is what about nourishment and malnutrition thank you